49%. That's the share of CO2 emissions from energy use in G20 economies that is covered today by a carbon price, either through a, a tax or an emissions trading system. That's up from 37% in 2018, which shows significant progress. 12 G20 countries now have explicit carbon pricing instruments or participate in the European Union's emissions trading system. But carbon prices are still too low to meet our long-term climate ambitions. Average carbon prices have risen in G20 economies for two reasons. First, several countries including Canada, China, Germany and South Africa have introduced new carbon taxes or emissions trading systems in 2021. Second, existing systems have seen prices rise. Carbon prices in the EU's emissions trading system, for instance, have quadrupled since 2018 to 60 euros per tonne of CO2. Pricing carbon is a powerful way to accelerate the transition to net zero. Revenues can fund targeted support to improve energy access and affordability, or to enhance social welfare, or to provide investment in low carbon infrastructure. With half of G20 carbon emissions still unpriced, stronger action is needed. Increasing carbon prices is harder when trade partners do not follow suit, particularly for carbon intensive and trade exposed sectors like steel or aluminium. Better international cooperation can help, taking into account that different countries have different economic and political realities and may need to use less direct policies to shift to carbon neutral economies. The OECD is working to help pave the way for an inclusive and sustainable low carbon economy.